Hello everybody, what is happening? This is your boy Professor Patio with another awesome video and today we are going to talk about problems with percents and we're also going to take a look at some parts and some holes. And before we continue watching this video, please take some time to like and subscribe to my channel. I really want to thank all the awesome subscribers who have been subscribing. Please continue to do so and tell other people about these videos so I can continue to make some awesome math videos for you all. Alrighty everyone, let's take a look at some percent problems. Um, but before we do some problems, I want to remind you some of the awesome ways or tips for trying to solve some math problems. For example, don't be afraid to read a problem three times if you need to. Okay, it's always good to just keep reading the problem so you get as much information as possible and so you understand. Also, while you're reading, don't forget to circle and highlight important information. I do that all the time as you see me doing right now. And think about things that you want, you want to know or need to know because there might be some things that you are confused about. All right, so those are my tips for solving math problems. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, some, at a percent problem in sixth grade um, and I, as we do this problem I want to talk about the percent ruler way of doing this problem okay let me go ahead and read the problem it says you go shopping and your favorite shoes are hundred forty dollars but the shoes hope I made a mistake here but the shoes are thirty percent off how much will you save okay so as I as I read this I'm also circling the important information. I know the shoes are 30% off. And they're asking how much will I save? Okay, so how much will I save? All right. Um, now I know the $140, that is the whole price. So I'm going to write the word whole. But the shoes are 30% off. So we get to take away part of the price. So that's part of my strategy. I'm writing the word whole and I'm writing the word part. And how much will you save? So if I'm saving money, I get to take away part of the price away from the $140, okay? So um, I said that I would be using the percent ruler way for this problem. And so what I started to do was to draw a straight line and in a percent ruler, I'm going to be writing down some numbers. So for example, the whole price at the store right now for my shoes is $140. Now, if I were to pay the whole price, I would be paying 100% of the price. Now, 100% is means all of it. 100% means everything. So 100% of the price is $140, okay? Now, the thing is, um, if it's 30% off, now, I want to know what 30% off is. Now, I know that 50% off is somewhere right here. So... And I know 0% is right here, so 30% is somewhere right here. Okay. Now the thing is, we don't know how much we will save. We don't know how much we will save. We just know that we're trying to figure out what 30% off is. We want to know how much is 30% off. Okay. Um, hmm. What do we do now? Well, there's a lot of ways to do this problem. One way to think about it is I know how to go to 100 to 50. I can just divide by 2 if I wanted to, okay? But um, I'm going to show you a fast way to do this. Um, what I'm thinking is if I can go from 100 to 10%, if I can go from 100 to 10%, then I can go from 10% to 30%, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first things first, let me choose a different color. I'll choose blue. To go from 100% to 10%, 
what can I do? Well, I can do 100 divided by 10 because 100 divided by 10 is 10 percent. Okay, so then if I do 100 divided by 10 to get 10 percent, I'm also going to take this and divide it by 10. So 140 divided by 10, 140 divided by 10, you can you can do this on a calculator or you can do it by hand or you could do it in your brain you, you would get fourteen dollars okay so ten percent off ten percent off means I get to save fourteen dollars but I want thirty percent off now if I wanted to I could go ten percent I could go twenty percent 10% off means I save 14. 20% off means I save 28. Okay. 30% off means, let's see now, I can, eat, I can add another 14. So let me just tell you the pattern that I'm doing here. Here I'm going to add 14 every time. So this is always going to be plus 14. Here, I'm going to add 10% every time. So now this is plus 10%, okay? I don't know if I made that very nice and neat for you all. So here, I'm adding 10% every time. So I'm going to jump 10%. I'm going to jump another 10%. But here, every time, I'm going to add 14, okay? So what's 28 plus 14? 28 plus 14 is 42, okay? So this is my the answer to my question. You go shopping and your favorite shoes are $140, but the shoes are 30% off. How much will you save? Well, I will save $42. So I will save $42. Okay. Now, if you think about it, let's summarize what I just did. I just used a percent ruler. A percent ruler is like a ruler and it has percents and numbers okay and I found a way to go from a hundred percent to ten percent and if I can get to ten percent that's like a magic percent because now ten percent helps me get to twenty percent it help me it helps me get to thirty percent it can help me go to forty to fifty to sixty to seventy eighty ninety a hundred okay so that's why I decided let me go from a hundred percent to ten percent because I wanted to get to 30%, okay? And then from here on, each 10% is $14. So that's why I kept on jumping 14, plus 14, plus another 14. And I can keep on adding 14s to get other percents as well, okay? So percent ruler is a cool way to do these kinds of problems, all right? Um, the last thing I want to say or just another thing I want to say is that um, percent rulers are not the only way to do these problems. But when you do these kinds of problems, you need to know which numbers are your holes and your parts. So that's why when we went here, I was like saying, this is my hole and these are my parts. Okay, so that was really important. And then another thing is, as I said, percent rulers are a great way to solve these problems. And as you saw me do earlier, division and multiplication are the fastest way to move around a percent ruler. Now, I didn't really use multiplication, but I could have over here. If I said, if I wanted to go from 10 to 30, I could have just multiplied by 3. 10 times 3 is 30. And I could have done 14 times 3, which is 42. Okay. Um, now let's look at another problem. Okay, here's another problem. Chloe correctly answered 90% of the total questions on her math test. She correctly answered 45 questions. Enter the number of questions on Chloe's test. Okay, so using my strategies, um, I'm going to circle 90%. She answered 90% of the questions correctly. And she answered 45 questions. So wait a minute. She correctly answered 
and she correctly answered 45 questions. So these two are talking about the same things, okay? But the question says, basically they're asking how many questions were on the test? How many questions were on the test? And so wait a minute. If we're talking about how many questions are on the test, then the number of questions on Chloe's test, that's the whole thing. That's the whole test. And this is the part right here. And this is the part right here. Okay? So again, one of the, my tips was you have to know what is the whole, and this is the whole test, and which, which is the part. 90% 90 per, 90 is part of the test. 45 questions are part of the test. We want to know how many questions were there all together on the test. Okay, so um, percent ruler is my favorite tool to use. Okay, there are other ways to do math, but percent rulers are my favorite way in this. So here's my percent ruler. Um, percent rulers go from 0% to 100. So here's 0%. Here's 100%. Again, we don't know how many questions were on the whole test. And this is the whole test right here. 100% of the test is everything. But we don't know how many questions were on the test. We don't know how many questions. Okay. What we do know was when Chloe answered 90% correctly, 90% was 45 questions on the test. So that's why 45 goes with 90. Now, hmm, how can we get to 100%? Well, I'm going to use my 90 to go to 10%. I'm going to use my 90 to go to 10%. And then later, I'm going to use my 10% to get to a hundred percent so I can figure out what this thing is. Okay. Uh, all right. The fastest way to go from 90 to 10 is to take 90 and divide by nine because 90 divided by nine equals 10. So because I'm dividing by nine, I also get to divide 45 by nine. 45 divided by 9 is 5. 5 questions. So every 10% is 5. Okay. Now, one way to do this is I could go 10% 5, 20% count by 5. So I could add 5 every time. And then if I want 30%, I could add another five. So I could keep doing this if I want to. Okay. But, and then I could keep on going until I get to a hundred. So you could try that if you want and see what you get. But I'm going to use a shortcut. So I'm not going to use addition. The faster way to do addition is multiplication. So repeated addition is multiplication. So I'm going to do this a faster way. Now, I have 10%. I want to go to 100%. 10 times what is 100? 10 times what is 100? 10 times 10 is 100. So if I want to go from 10% to 100, multiply by 10. If I want to go from this to here, I can also multiply by 10. 5 times 10 is 50. So how many questions were on Chloe's test? There were 50 questions on the test. All right. So again, percent rulers were the tool that I use. It's not it's not the only way, okay, but this was my favorite way to do it, okay? Again, you needed to know what the parts were, you needed to know what the holes were. And you need to know how to move around a percent ruler. All right. So good luck with these percent problems. Um, percent rulers, they're one of my favorite, favorite ways, but there are other ways to do it. All right. Good luck.